Siddharth Sidhu Marathi is a Mumbai Tapori, a boxing champion. His brother, Jay Marathi, is the manager and right hand man for Ronak, Roni, Singh. A former boxing champion who ostensibly runs a travel agency, but in reality rules the local community by terrorizing people and stealing money from innocent merchants. Other than his boxing practice, Sidhu leads a relatively aimless and wanderlust life. In his spare time, he hangs out with friends, occasionally stealing money from rich people. Sidhu is financially dependent on his elder brother Jay, who lives in Ronak Singh's house, but occasionally visits Sidhu and tops up his finances. Uddharan The opening scene features a female lawyer Fatima Madam defending Sidhu in court against accusations of small time theft the lawyer tries to convince the judge to show leniency towards sidhu on account of his disadvantaged background as an orphan the judge points out that sidhu has already been shown leniency four times and is greeted with laughter by everybody including sidhu in the commotion sidhu steals rs 400 from his own lawyer's purse Sidhu is let free later when he asks the lawyer what her fees are she asks him for a fee of rs 400 and he is thus forced to part with the money he has just stolen the lawyer gives no indication of awareness that sidhu had stolen an equal amount of money later sidhu while joking around with friends gets angry when one of his friends suggests that the lawyer may be receiving sexual favors from Sidhu in exchange for defending him in court a few days later Ronak Singh hires Sidhu to deliver a letter to a local cricket player and to beat up the player if he shows signs of resisting unknown to Sidhu the letter contains instructions to the player to get out after scoring a certain number of runs so that roni can win a bet siddhu delivers the letter and intimidates the cricket player into agreeing to follow the instructions breaking the player's bat in the process later while returning he gets into a motorcycle speed race with a motorcycle gang led by charlie which escalates into a dare game to run towards a moving train at night siddhu beats charlie's past record in the game Charlie chooses to run again but falls on the train tracks and seems to be headed for death as the train approaches him. Siddhu rescues Charlie at considerable personal risk. In the process, Siddhu becomes friends with Alicia, also part of the gang, and their friendship blossoms into love. The famous song Aati Kya Khandala is situated during this period. When Siddhu is trying to cheer Alicia up after a fight with her father it is revealed that Siddhu saw his own father's death when he was a child which mentally affected him throughout his life back in his local community Siddhu witnesses an incident of some of Roni's men beating up a local restaurateur for not paying extortion money to Roni's gang the restaurateur runs for his life as Roni's men chase him but none of the other community people come to his aid harihar mafatlal a social worker coaxes a police constable to stop the fight the restaurateur and his two assailants land up on the roof where siddhu is doing boxing practice with hari and the constable following the constable breaks up the fight and scolds the restaurateur and hari is angry at the constable for blaming the victim the assailants left greeting siddhu on the way out siddhu offers some water to the restaurateur and introduces himself to hari suggesting to both to avoid getting on the wrong side of roni hari speaks of principle and self respect and siddhu is reminded of things that his father told him long ago roni is furious to hear about this and wishes to kill the restaurateur and hari immediately Ronnie explains the logic of terror to his henchmen. If even a few people stop acceding to his demands, then that will instill rebelliousness against Ronnie's demands in others. Fear is essential for the kind of respect Ronnie enjoys, 
and being lenient against a few people who stand up to him based on a short-term cost-benefit. Analysis will have long-term negative consequences for Ronnie. J. However, dissuades Ronnie from taking rash action. In the process, it is revealed that Jai and Ronnie are in the process of bribing politicians and government officials to make Ronnie the owner of a large construction project. Hari later canvasses some villages together, trying to get one of them to sign a complaint against Ronnie that can be filed with the police so that official action can be taken against him. Sidhu attends the meeting at Jaya's request but does not inform Jai or Roni about it immediately. Instead, Sidhu offers Hari a friendly warning to cease and desist these activities. During the conversation that ensues, Sidhu says that his own motto in life is simple. Live and let live. Hari reveals the principle guiding his own actions. Whenever he sees himself in the mirror. He should not feel ashamed of what he sees. Ronnie nonetheless learns of the events during the meeting and is angry. He tells Sidhu to arrange a meeting between Hari and himself. Ronnie. So that Ronnie can dissuade Hari from these activities. Sidhu agrees. And calls Hari over to a bridge. On the pretext that he himself. Sidhu. Needs to talk to Hari. Hari arrives at the bridge. Expecting to meet Sidhu, Ronnie arrives along with his men, beats up Hari, and throws him from the bridge after which he is crushed under a moving train. Sidhu is furious at Jai and Ronnie and attacks Ronnie physically. But Ronnie's men control him. And he is allowed to go on account of the fact that he is Jaya's brother and he was the one who managed to inadvertently help Ronnie kill Hari. Sidhu returning home, cannot bear the sight of himself in the mirror, and breaks it. It is also revealed that Hari was the brother of Alicia, Sidhu's romantic interest, something Sidhu had been unaware of because he was living separately. Sidhu confesses everything to Fatima Madam, the female lawyer who had defended him at the beginning of the movie but refuses to testify against. Ronnie in court. For fear of implicating his elder brother Jai, the lawyer tries to talk him into testifying but fails. She challenges him to reveal the truth to Alicia, which he does, and they break up. Uddharan Chin, in a subsequent boxing match, against boxing champion, Kala Tiger, that Sidhu has been preparing for several months. Sidhu is told by his brother, in the midst of the game, to throw the match. Since Ronnie has bet money on Sidhu losing. Sidhu throws the game. Allowing the other boxer to beat him unconscious. He is furious at his brother. And they have an oral confrontation. In the process. Sidhu is forced to confront that his father had betrayed five of his friends in the Indian. Independence movement to the British out of fear of being tortured. Causing all of them to be killed. Sidhu realizes that his father was a good man, but, like everybody else, was a coward and lacked the strength to fight injustice. Yet, he knows that his father wanted to instill these values in him. And he vows to bring Hari, Eskillers to justice and complete the task that Hari attempted to begin. He tells Fatima Madam, the lawyer. That he is willing to testify publicly against Ronnie as well as against his own brother Jai. And also confesses to her his theft of R.S. Charso. Shown at the beginning of the movie. She expresses pride in Sidhu. Revealing that she knew all along about the theft and also knew that Sidhu would reveal it to her. Someday of his own accord. She tries to get Alicia to forgive Sidhu but fails. Sidhu is now a reformed man. Uddharan. When Ronnie discovers that Sidhu is the person who has filed a complaint against him. He is ready to kill Sidhu. Jai dissuades Ronnie. Reassuring him that Jai himself will dissuade Sidhu from testifying publicly against Ronnie. In an emotional scene. Sidhu. When approached by Jai. Confronts Jai instead.
accusing Jai of neglecting his duties as an elder brother by encouraging Sidhu to follow himself. In a life of crime, Jai realizes his error and apologizes. Upon returning home, Sidhu discovers Alicia waiting for him, and they embrace and reconcile. Later that night, Ronnie kills Jai and his men also try to kill Sidhu. But the motorcycle gang led by Charlie, whose life Sidhu had saved earlier, intervenes to save Sidhu's life. Sidhu wants to kill Ronnie in person to avenge his brother's death. But the female lawyer arrives in time to dissuade him. The next day, in court, Sidhu gives his testimony regarding Ronnie's murder of Hari. The court is adjourned until Monday. Coming out of court, Ronnie orders for a local bunt and forces all the shops to close down. He also has Sidhu's home broken into and his belongings thrown on the street. Sidhu, upon seeing this, walks up to Ronnie's house and challenges him to come out and duel alone. Rather than hiding behind henchmen, Ronnie agrees, and all the people in the area come out to watch. The two boxers have a long and bloody boxing match, with nobody interfering. Though Sidhu is severely injured, he remains victorious, as the local people see one man with the courage to fight Ronak Singh. They awaken to the possibility that they too can resist his extortionary demands. Ronnie loses the fight, but he then orders his henchmen to kill Sidhu. The local people, who are much more numerous than Ronnie's henchmen, block the attempt. Together, they beat up Ronnie and his henchmen and force them to flee the area.